Today's video was inspired by a post I saw on one of the Foreigners in Lithuania Facebook groups. In this post, someone is asking for tips on how to stretch a budget and get the most food from a small amount of money. While it's a topic I had considered making a video on before, seeing this encouraged me to make it sooner rather than later. So for this video, I'll take you along on a supermarket shopping trip to see if anything stands out. But before I get started, there are definitely a few things you should keep in mind that will affect how much or how little you spend on groceries. If you want to jump ahead to actual products, head over to this time in the video. So first, I'm assuming you have the necessary equipment to cook your own meals at home, like a stove. After all, not all of the stuff we're picking up at the store can be eaten raw. Next, you'll have to consider your diet. Do you eat meat, or are you a vegetarian? Some types of meat and their various forms cost more. Fish tends to cost more than other animal products, with beef often costing the most. Chicken and pork tend to be the cheapest, but again, it really depends on the cut or part of the animal. For vegetarians and vegans, plant-based meat alternatives, or imitation meat products, tend to cost more than their animal-based equivalents, unfortunately. But in my experience, little tends to offer the lowest prices when it comes to blocks of tofu. Aside from this, I found that beans, split peas, and lentils are cheap in Lithuania, and they offer good sources of protein. You should also keep in mind that prices, obviously, will vary from store to store. Being a discount supermarket, Little can certainly have the best prices on a lot of products. However, this isn't always guaranteed. In my shopping experience, the price of different fruits and vegetables can sometimes be lower at other supermarkets. Another big factor is seasonality. Some things might be cheap all year round, while other things will have different prices depending on the season. Today we'll mainly look at items that are constantly cheap throughout the year. And then you should know that this video makes no guarantees or comparisons of quality. In some cases, the saying, you get what you pay for, is very true, and the cheapest stuff might be the lowest quality. In other cases, it seems like different supermarkets will offer the exact same products at very different prices. So for today's trip, I'm spending most of my time at Little. However, good deals can be found at other big supermarket chains like Maxima, Ike, and Orfa. We'll make a quick stop at Rimi later on in this video too. So, apples are the first thing I would recommend looking into. At the right time, apples can be as cheap as 49 cents per kilogram, and they're full of vitamins and nutrients and a good substitute for sugary snacks. But I think I would typically go for apples if they were anywhere between 49 and 79 cents per kilogram. Okay, so moving on in the shopping trip, you'll want to stop by the bread section to check out any older bread that is on clearance. So just look for the orange sticker, which usually means it's 30% off. Then to keep it fresh and save it from going stale, just put it in the freezer. Potatoes are another good staple food. You can bake them, boil them, cook them in a frying pan, or put them in a soup. Potatoes will often be 10 to 20 cents cheaper per kilogram if they're unwashed. But you'll have to decide for yourself if that's worth it, since it can be a lot of work to get all the dirt off of those potatoes. I would say that unwashed potatoes will sell for about 40 to 60 cents per kilogram. Next up on the trip are onions, which I purchased today for 49 cents per kilogram. I've seen them on clearance for as low as 19 cents per kilogram, but it doesn't happen too often. And after getting a few onions, I had to stand around awkwardly while the lady beside me was being very picky about which carrots she had to put into her bag. And eventually I was able to get a few carrots of my own, which also sold for 49 cents per kilogram. And so if you're a meat eater, I find Little has good prices on meat, mainly when the store is having a sale. Depending on the type of animal and the type of meat, you can pay as little as 1 euro and 49 cents per kilogram. 
Sometimes you're limited to minced or ground pork, and other times chicken legs and chicken breasts will be just as cheap. Most supermarkets will have further discounts for clearance packs of meat, around 30% off the regular cost. And then you should know most fruit and vegetable prices are displayed in price per kilogram, and that makes it really easy to compare their prices and their value. However, when it comes to most other things, the price tag is per can or per box or per pack, so this can make it a little bit more difficult to compare. Because of this, it's important to look at the smaller numbers below and focus on price per kilogram for these items too. Going by pure weight will be a much better indicator of value since different packages might have different weights. With that being said, the pasta at Little is some of the cheapest I've seen. It's currently 29 cents for a bag, although I remember it being previously 24 cents for the same pack. The quality of this might not be as good as more expensive packs of noodles, but it will definitely fill you up. Okay, so after my visit to Little, I headed across the street to a big Rimi. And it was here that I picked up some cabbage for 49 cents per kilogram. And yeah, cabbage at the right time of year can be some of the cheapest in terms of vegetables. And just like carrots and apples, cabbage is full of nutrients and it's good for you. So if you haven't thought much about cabbage before, maybe it's worth checking out some recipes. Beets are another cheap and nutritious vegetable, and something that can be roasted, pickled, put into salads, and used in soups. And while I still haven't purchased and cooked with beets myself, I know they're a core part of Eastern European dishes, including borscht and Lithuania's iconic Schalte Barsche, which translates to cold borscht in English. And if you want to try making Schalte Barsche, you'll need kefir, or kefiras in Lithuanian. Uh, Rimi's bags of kefir are some of the cheapest I've seen, so it's worth checking that out. Before coming to Lithuania, I wasn't so keen on the thought of a cold soup. However, it's actually pretty nice on hot summer days. And the last thing for budget shopping is the bag of Rimi Basic Koldune. Um, at 99 cents a kilogram for these meat dumplings, it's a pretty decent compromise between cost and convenience. And yeah, they taste pretty good. So wrapping up this video, there are just a few more things to consider. Supermarkets will have sales listed on their websites or in their apps, so it's worth checking these out every week to see what's a good deal. And next, a good freezer can be very helpful in making the most of cheap groceries. So when something's on sale, you can buy up the cheap bread, meat, vegetables, and just put them all in the freezer to make them last longer. Of course, for freezing vegetables, you should do your own research on how to preserve them, since I don't know enough about this. Also, how much you spend will, of course, depend on how creative you can be with cheap fruits and vegetables. If you're not creative and resourceful, then you'll probably get tired of eating the same foods over and over again. Okay, so I hope some of the information in this video was useful for you. Uh, living on a tight budget while maintaining good nutrition and variety is definitely possible, but it will definitely take a little time and energy to do it well. So if you're watching this and you have any other advice for food shopping on a budget, please leave a comment and let people know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.